Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Ginge and Pedro Show. I'm, of course, your host, Throbin Williams. Alongside me, the ever faithful Pedro Ang. How you mm. doing, buddy? Yeah, come on. F- faithful to what, though? That would be, that's a kind of an open question. Am I faithful? Well, hmm. what you didn't know is I've sold your soul to the devil behind your back. So that's just the oh, thing with Mr. Right. With Gingers, buddy. You've been, we've been partnered up for yeah, a couple that's... years now. I, I had to do yeah, it. Yeah, but that, uh, that, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say, but that has happened several times already. Yeah. Yeah. Being, being, my soul being sold to the devil. That's You're an talk ongoing about transaction. That. Do you have multiple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you sort of partition that thing out? Can you stretch it out? Or is yeah. it sold the same? So is that something? You yeah, have it's, to it's, it, like, you gotta say like. Yeah, it's more of a layaway. It's more of a layaway situation with my soul. So yeah. Yeah, pops. I appreciate yeah. that you think it's valuable. Hey, what's up? Well, I, you know, I don't know. You never know. I think you're valuable, mm-hmm. buddy. There you go. Yeah, so I know, I know. I, yeah. I took care of that. I took care yep. of that. So shout out. But real thanks, quick, person. some person. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a minute yeah. since we've seen him. I hope you're doing well. So yeah. So, so what what's been happening? Like it's been it's been very eventful in the mm-hmm. non comic book world. Well, at least in Latin America. So I don't right. know. Yeah. My, my uh, country's still in flames. Right. Yeah. My country's still in flames with the with the mining contract. So cool. And now What's there's the, people that giving their opinion, like we're gonna get sued by the mining company. That's funny. And yeah. No, no, that brings up a couple interesting questions though, real quick. Yeah, um, sure. Well, real quick, let's let's do a quick uh I'll have to bring it up. That's in the description. No, but that makes that brings up an interesting question. Um, what's the free speech laws in opposite of that what's the uh like the libel and the defamation laws over there is it like uh in, in you know, is it, is, yeah. yeah is it something comparative to the u.s or yeah it's pretty much the same like we both share the the, the same like latin uh roman law uh, with the roots of our law systems so it's pretty similar but we we follow the you you follow the common law uh, scripture we follow the Latin, the Latin, the Latin, so it should be in a law, like it, <clears throat> it can't be interpreted by the judges that much because I mean, like, judges can use case law. So, when you, you go to libel, uh, uh lab, libel cases or you know, like defamation, it's mm-hmm. strictly in the law, it's like really well defined. What were you asking? What have you heard? Nothing, nothing. I was just curious as a guy that's never set foot in. Panama. I just, I was what oh, to the best of my knowledge, buddy, Latin America is a, a wild place. So I was just curious. Yeah. I mean, in a sense, in a sense, like we are civilized, we do have the internet, but, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, you can go to places and you can be invited into a machete fight. Just read the yeah. room. Yeah. Right. No, yeah. yeah, that's fair. People have a machete. Just don't go in there. Yeah, no, if, if, if a guy is drinking while he's caressing a machete, mm. just just don't start anything. Absolutely, buddy. You know? Yeah. So let me bring up this video real quick. Okay, I, I want to get your, your because you're a history guy, so I want to get your sort of backdrop on, uh, what, okay. to the best of your knowledge, what's going on with Argentina? Argentina, Argentina. How how far away from you are they? And oh, Argentina. It's yeah. it, it's a ways away. It's a ways away. Uh, a ways away. By plane, it's like six hours. You get from where I'm at to Argentina, so it's really close to the to the, to Antarctica, the southern hemisphere. Mm-hmm. But they're they're like they're Latinos like us, even though they have a, a lot of Italian influence in that affects the way they speak mm. but yeah right right even even from from our, our history with spain like there were three viceroy ships so you got new spain which is mexico all the way down to costa rica 
you have New right. Bonita, which is from Panama all the way to Ecuador and Peru. And then uh -huh. you get Bicership of Rio de la Plata, which would be Uruguay, Paraguay, and Argentina. Right. Chile and wasn't if, even discovered. Of course, we're forgetting the fourth one, uh, Viceroy Newt Gungray of the Trade Federation. Yeah, exactly. From the Trade Federation. That's, right. <laughs> uh, he should take it to the same net. Yeah, of course. <laughs> got yeah, so that's the thing. Like, those guys, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they do share history with us, but the uh, Newt Gungray in the in the Trade Federation. Uh oh, he's been. No, uh, no, the, the Trade Federation locked him up. P money. Return. Well, let's make sure it's not me. No, no, de mierda, no le podés dar ni un milímetro. Pedro. Oh God. It's just me. Hello. 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 Well, how are you guys? How's the chat doing? How are we doing, everybody? How's how's our week? We got some uh, holiday plans. Who's seeing grandma this week? Anybody? This thing on. E. I'm just kidding. Real quick, I, we will do a uh, waifus and kaijus bump. I do have that. That's in the description. Uh, Pedro and I are both working on the book. So, uh, and we are going to launch it likely 200, but it just depends on how far the interiors are as well. I want to, that's been buzzing around lately. I'm trying to adapt and make sure we deliver you guys the best. Uh, best possible book we can of course we got the brilliant star that shines through the night bow 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 bitches riser man in the house yeah there he is hey bubba so yeah i've got, got a little bit of an internet hiccup welcome back uh -oh. Mm -hmm. old dirty fatty <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's it's coming in general man like I'm, I'm getting everything set up so don't, don't you guys yeah. worry. Like we're, we're, we're doing show. that. Yeah. So we're, we're watching this. Okay. Let's yeah. Call it Javier Millet. Okay. So Javier Millet, like if you guys don't know who this guy is, uh, this guy is, this guy is uh, a, a, a university uh, professor, but he's an, an anarcho-capitalist libertarian. Former and he's, rock musician, I've heard as well. I don't know. Oh yeah, he, he no, he plays in a he plays in a Rolling Stones cover band, so it's not. Really uh, like, okay. Mm, yeah, that, that, that's what he does. But the cool thing about him is that he he basically uh, he's been like advocating for the ideas of liberty. You know, uh, Ludwig, Ludwig von Mises, uh, von right. Hayek, Ortbart, all those guys. Like you know the the Austrian school of economics. Right. And he became basically like an Argentinian celebrity because he was always like invited to shows and he's very boisterous and outspoken right. and, on how much communists suck. And uh, the, the, the cool thing is that he's doing this in Argentina a lot. Like everybody, when everybody uh, hears like bastions of communism in Latin America, people think of Cuba, Venezuela. But people don't really understand that Brazil and Argentina are also like huge bastions of like communist communist ideas. It's like it's really ingrained. And the thing with, with Argentina is that they have this movement called Peronism, uh, which was inspired by uh, a president of their called Peron. He was like a Nazi sympathizer. And he he was the guy who basically opened the doors for Nazis to right. to like a great refugee in Argentina. So basically, he grabbed the national socialism ideas of Mussolini and mixed them with Marx and came up with what he called Peronism. And that that thing has been that like uh, that line of thinking. Peronism, Peronism, yeah. Peronism, yeah, so that Peronism. Line, with an H. Peron, with, with a P, with a P, with a P. No, his, his name is Peron, so it's um, Peronism. Right. Yeah, Peronism. Okay. So right. this, yeah, this this line of ideas ha have ruled Argentina since the fifties, 
And this guy broke it almost 70 years of that this last Sunday. So everybody's in the notebook, like, oh my God, Peronism is down. So yeah. So all right. Yeah. Very right, exciting. Yeah. yeah. And I mean That's Argentina, right. like the, the, their inflation was in like 150% uh their their poverty ratio is like 40% of people under the poverty line. Like, dude, like that country is completely destroyed. But dude, like they produce like one of the best uh uh beef in the world like it's from argentina mm -hmm. uh they have like a very nice. strong like ag agricultural like sector they used to have their own oil uh but now they don't uh so i don't know if this guy puts puts things in line like argentina could become like a really cool country to visit you know what i mean so right on yeah hey go argentina yeah, I mean, yeah i was saying and i think you're well aware of this point this fact that when I, at least when I think of Latin America, for the most part, I think of, mm. you know. Savagery? Yeah, like, you know, but not just fucking madhouse, you know, not, not you know, not necessarily the political sort of mm -hmm. backdrop of it, more just like the gang element, you know, and just like, oh, you know, dude, like, the thing crazy is like, over there. Yeah, yeah. It, it depends on where you go. Because the things like, uh, I mean, which countries are really known for, for that, like Brazil with the favelas and whatnot? What's up, guys? But, hey, what's Yo. up, Matt? What's up, Matt? I mean, but there's places in Brazil where you go and you feel like you're in Germany. They, they're they playing polka and everything. Yes. All right. I can dig that. Yeah. Like I the southern the part of... Uh, yeah, the, the southern part of, uh, of Brazil, it's all like German immigrants and they wear the Lederhosen and the, the, mm -hmm. it's like a Bavarian town everywhere you go. I, yeah. I, it was very weird for me, yeah. Hmm. But yeah, yeah, so so this, but this guy's in, in Argentina, like he just won this Sunday, and I'm on the lookout to see what he does because he's gonna like close the central bank and dollarize their economy and a hmm. lot of crazy stuff, man. Yeah, All it's right. gonna be awesome. Yeah, his cool. eyeballs look like they're the same tone uh, color as his skin, a little bit, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He does look like he's blazed a fat doobie. Yeah, show. he's lit as oh. fuck right there. No, but the thing that he's beat red because right, he's always guys. screaming. Oh, oh, don't worry, bro. I got uh, yeah, two little order. people. I got two little toddlers mm -hmm. that are starting to get sick, and I'm starting to feel oh. it a little bit. So oh, I'm, dude. I'm okay, but I'm just yeah. People are people are getting yeah, but, medicated. But I mean, it. yeah. If, if you still if you let let him like shit in the woods, then yeah, they're about <laughs> they should pick something. Yeah, like I love that thing. Like you're allowing them to be feral, man. That's what kids need need today. Dude, they're like the fucking fairies from legend, man. Their hearts beat nice. fierce and free. Uh, nice. I have hearts that are soft like porridge. You human hearts. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell my kids Heading not to woods, shit in the woods. So bad though. Let me just say that my my town got hit by a hurricane in 2018, and we didn't have power for a couple months. Right. So, and I already live in the woods. So yeah, we were having to shit in the woods and. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, you know, it has its perks. Yeah, it builds weird. character. Yeah, I mean, if you're doing it on a regular basis, you have to do it at a certain distance from your house, right? So that you don't right. yeah, exactly. track in you that pile. hookworm or mm -hmm. something like that, something crazy. Mm -hmm. right. Excuse me, I'm right in the mic. Right. What's going on, guys? Look at this guy. No, Are those real sideburns, much. or is he just like combing his hair forward? Oh no, that's that's his hair, man. He is he's a Rolling Stones fan. And... He's I not, love it. He's not, I love his whole yeah, thing where he's like, "You fucking shit leftist retards!" Like, fuck you. Yeah, oh, dude. Like my my favorite. Like I want to make that feature. Like ah, when he's talking about yes, all the ministries. Dude. I want that Afuera. shit. Yeah. Afuera. 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 yeah. <laughs> all right. Let me go ahead and kick this off. I, well, I think yeah. we'll po probably have to pause a little bit in between. Yeah, we don't want to get a hit like Matt's show yesterday for showing that shitty for fake or? animation. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, I got Matt, struck for showing shitty animation. That's exactly yeah, what the shitty, uh, shitty fake animation. They're like, "Hey, um, you're talking and saying that this was animation, and it's not, and it's also shitty. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and strike you twice." I was like, "What? Yeah. What? Yeah, oh, I shit. got two strikes. I'm just kidding. They were just like, "Hey, oh, man,", man. <laughs> yeah. which is so weird because it was like it was a commercial. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's like it's promoting. I mean. I don't know. There's I guess like they, they can't tell if you're trying to promote it or just fucking use it, so they just yeah. ding ding ya. 
What's up? What's up, chat? Yeah, oh no, he's he he's the pre yeah, he's the president elect of New Star. Like he, he will take office on the 10th of December. He won. Yeah. No, it's interesting mm -hmm. that he's before I knew he was a you know, even though he's a cover artist, which you know, I don't find there anything wrong with being in a jam band, but point being Not it's really. like I, I saw him like walking through some crowds and he looked like like fucking uh I forget the name, but the, the lead singer of AC D C just like Oh yeah, Brian Johnson. Uh, I was like, this yeah. looks like a oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, for yeah. Man. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. Cut the loose. <laughs> like what if AC D C did a cover for Footloose? Oh. Footloose! Oh, yeah, was... Fuck loose! Kick loose! Oh, Oh, that was freaking rock. Yeah, that's totally gonna I help. I want to hear that now. Like yeah, hey, Bob. Hey, what's up, Eric? Thanks for coming by, bro. What's up, Eric? Yeah. Troll God extraordinaire. Can't, Eric. can't hear the fine shit leftist. Because they are shit. Let me, uh, let me bust this thing off here, gentlemen. Do it. He has a hot wife, right? Doesn't he have like a hot wife? Yeah. ¿Por qué le pones de mierda, digamos? Porque son una mierda. No. Pero es que si pensas, pero no, pero si pensas distinto, te van a, te van a aniquilar. Ese es el punto. Es decir, vos. Yeah, I actually, I'm very refreshed to hear somebody be as direct about that point. They will kill you because if you think. Okay, so okay. I was just going to say real, real quick, if you think here in America, it's like, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure there's a subsection of these lunatics that would actually, if they were in charge, try to kill people yeah. that disagree with them. You know what I mean? So like, so, yeah, this, so this is, dude, we saw it with the yeah, vaccine, but, right? Some of the more yeah. extreme leftists were, were mm -hmm. suggesting uh, getting us locked up, right. getting us, you know, yeah. Uh, our freedoms taken, so, you know. Oh, you don't want to get out of society. You need to be you know, fucking locked away from your family. It's like, what the fuck did you just yeah. say? Like, now we're now they yeah. want everything okay, else but, to be forgiven. Yeah. Hey, man, like, yeah, we, yeah. we, we said some crazy yeah. shit, but let's just move forward. Like, no, -uh. that, that was out of line, but it's time to move on. No, but well, but what I was you're what trying I, to take the freedoms, say, asshole. Yeah, yeah. What I was uh, I was gonna say is that this tactic is not his. Uh one of the Austrian economists called Rothbard wrote about that, like being in the face of communist and be unapologetic in your attacks because That's they, very Rothbard, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Because the, the thing is like when communists come for you, they're coming all guns out. They will say whatever they, they, they that is, they need to say to destroy you. Hence uh, being called a Nazi, a homophobe. Right. Uh, whatever, like they don't care. But when you do that, they, when you do the same to them, they go ah, violence. Yeah, they don't, they so don't believe in rules. I mean, we saw yeah, that exactly. in the election. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like yo, yeah, they don't yeah. give a fuck. They will, they will cheat. They will get seen mm -hmm. on video and still deny mm -hmm. it. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like yeah. that fucking song. That, it wasn't me. I caught you packing the me. mailbox. It wasn't me. I caught you moving that from the me. van. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't you know? me. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and that's the thing. Right. Sorry, Pedro. He says, now that you mentioned it, hasn't Brazil been practically impoverished? Yeah, the thing yeah. is that Brazil had Bolsonaro, and then they they stole the election and put Lula back on the presidency. Right. And that guy was in jail. And he went from jail to the presidency again. That happened in Brazil. That's so okay. That's the thing. Like, that's not a bad thing. Yeah. They they oust the... the yeah, I think Mandela, dude, right? Like, wasn't Bolsonaro it? Was, I, I mean, a lot of people in Brazil were really happy with what the Bolsonaro, yeah, Mandela. Well, I don't know, like, what did you say? Bows and arrows, Bolsonaro, Bolsonaro. Yeah, uh, yeah I was like, yes, Bolsonaro Brazil has Brazil. bows and arrows. That's true. Do they have headhunters in, in Brazil? Like, are there like head shrinkers? Whoa. Like the uh, the tribal uh, characters that yeah yeah Pedro's, is that a real thing? I'm not sure. Um, you there, buddy? He's having some. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Like my 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 internet. He's trying. He's about to pull out his little collection of shrunken heads. <laughs> he's like, actually, no. As a matter of fact, but uh, Pedro or. Uh, 
Pop says, I've been in jail. Send me to the White House. Here, here, buddy. There you go. No, I mean, I, as far as like Trump, let's say worst case scenario, he goes to jail. I'd still vote for him. You know what I mean? Dude, I don't give a fuck. I, uh, yeah. Blah, blah. yeah, dude, I'm totally down with voting for Trump if he goes to jail. I doubt he will, but I'm totally down for it. Have yeah. you ever been to jail? Uh, no, thankfully. It's an experience, dude. Is it you fun? should try it. Yeah, well, maybe. Well, you know, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. It fucking sucks. Balls, dude. Yeah. Especially when you have to, like, Lift up your balls and cough and shit. Mm. Well, I got no, um, I, mean, I got picked up one time. Mm. The only time that I like really got in trouble, I was uh, I got a speeding ticket. It's like not even that like hardcore cool. I got mm -hmm. uh, I got a speeding ticket, and then um, instead of paying it right, I was like, man, I'm going to fucking Europe. Like I need, mm. I don't want to pay a fucking speeding ticket. I want that money for fucking bullshit you know what i mean in europe right so i was mm -hmm. like i'll just pay for it when i get back and when i got back i didn't pay for it i just like fucking was like whatever which was stupid on my part um and so my my license got suspended while i was in europe because i was in mm -hmm. europe for like a couple of months and um and when i came back within like a couple of weeks i got pulled over for speeding and um because i was trying to speed to work right i was like trying to get to work and um and uh she was like yeah you know you're doing you know 55 and a 35 or whatever and i was like fuck and she's like okay well you're also under arrest because your license is suspended oh jeez and i was like what the fuck yeah. i was like uh okay and of course i instantly just like out of bodied you know what i mean it was just like yeah i'm just like watching a fucking documentary i'm like i just was like yeah i'm not fucking here this isn't fucking this isn't real. And so, um, and like I got picked up in, I'll just be clear about it. I got picked up in Myrtle Beach, like the city of Myrtle mm. Beach. But the cop that picked me up was a county cop. Mm. Right. So there, I guess there's like a difference. So they like took me to the Myrtle Beach uh, police station. And I was like in the cell with like fucking 20 other fucking dudes. And it was just fucking weird as fuck. And they were like, yeah, yeah, you're going to go see the judge and whatever. And, uh, and I was, like, on my way to work, and, like, they just, like, took all my shit, right? Yeah. So I was, like, in in jail, like, fuck, I don't remember any numbers. I'm, like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. And mm -hmm. um, and so they were, like, oh, yeah, no, you're not going to see the judge in the city. You got you got picked up by county, so you got to go out to Jay Rubin, right? And I was, like, oh, what the fuck? So they, like, uh, shackle me the fuck up, like I'm fucking Hannibal fucking Lexus. <laughs> like, I'm, like... But a spit mask fucking to a yeah dude i had like a spit fucking hood on and shit and so no i didn't so i just had like like handcuffs and so they like uh it was like me and like several other guys and they like put us in a van and drove us out to the county jail which mm -hmm. looked like a fucking mini prison right it was like multiple chain link fences around this fucking building out in the middle of nowhere and um and uh i'll just make the story real quick so so i we get brought in, we get processed, they fucking take all your clothes, they fucking take photos of all your shit, all your tattoos and everything. Um, mm. And it was like a Friday, right? It was a Friday. And um, and it's like, it's probably like four o'clock right now, four, four thirty. And they're like, yeah, like if you don't, if you don't see the judge, like you're gonna fucking be here until Monday. And I was like, oh uh, man, I'm fantastic. That's just fucking fantastic. So I'm already in this cell and like, I'm already like, they're like, yo man, what are you in for? And I was like, yo man, for first degree robbery. And then people are like, what are you in for? I'm like, suspended license. Yeah, look, they're like, what the fuck? I'm like, <laughs> it was like what are you in for? Yeah. yeah. I but fuck then he was like, yo man, are you going to eat the hamburger? And I, even though I didn't want to eat the hamburger, I was like, no. I was like, yeah, it's my hamburger. Cause I was just like, are you testing me? In my head, I was like, is this Oz? Like, are you fucking testing uh, me right now? Like, yeah, no, 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 man, no, this is my hamburger. I'm fine. It, it was hamburger and then ass. Yeah. Yeah, dude. They were gonna come for me. And I was like, I dude, I was like yeah. coiled ready to JK, fucking uh, Simmons, the dude. He's like the uh the, the Nazi like booty. Yeah, he them. was like the yeah. like the leader yeah. of the Nazis in Oz, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, shit. That, so, that, so that. The, it gets oh, to that Matt, point where they're like, you Yeah, like you're not gonna have anything's gonna happen, and you know, you're gonna probably be here and 
you know, we're going to find you a place in fucking general Shit. pop or whatever, this like other area. Mm. And, um, I was like, Oh fuck. So while I'm sitting there and like going through all this fucking rigmarole in the court rigmarole. systems and the jail systems, somebody, a fucking home, a homie of mine was driving past and saw me fucking pulled over by the cops. Mm. Right. Mm. And was like, what the fuck is going on with Matt Barr? And fucking like drove to work and then fucking I never showed up. Right. Mm. And so um, the they finally like figured out like, oh, fuck, Matt Barr like went to jail. And then yeah. um, and then it was like, well, what's going on? Oh, now he's in Jay Rubin. And so the the owner of the company was just like, how much is he owe? And just like fucking like like wrote a check. It was like, here, just fucking get him, get him out, get him out of fucking jail. Right. So. Right on. Well, because there was like this giant like surf and spike event that weekend, and I had all these designs that I had to like finish an output for the screen printer, right? So I he, he yeah. fucking needed me, right? He thank yeah. God I fucking I had value. Um right. Right. and uh in that awesome, one moment man. that I needed value, I fucking had it. And uh yeah. so he was like, Go get that fucking guy. So um he's he's cool, dude, man. We like surfed. And shit together. So I go, I, so at like 440, 450, I'm like, holy shit, this sucks. And at that point, I was like counting the fucking cinder blocks in my room. I was like already fucking brushing my teeth. I was like pacing the fucking cell I was in. And they fucking showed up in the cell like, all right, all right, Metbar, out. And they fucking gave me my bag of clothes. So I put my clothes back on. I was like, what the fuck? So I, like, I, I put my clothes back on. They walked me to a door open the door and they're like, all right, go down that hallway and go through the other door. And so I was like, all right. So, so I guess I'm free. Right. And they're like, yeah. So I walked down the hallway and I'm just like standing out and fucking out in bumfuck, like South right. Carolina. And then, uh, like my brother-in-law pulls up in a fucking convertible. Right. On. And Cause they, he, my, the owner knew my brother-in-law and like sent him to, to come pick me up. So I was like, what the fuck? He was like, yeah, man, we were looking for you. And, we fucking paid your your fine so that you're out. So that was dope. So we just like we pulled out of out of the J Room parking lot, and as we were heading back to Myrtle Beach, he like pulled out a fucking joint and we sp sparked that shit up, Let's go, and we got man. some food. But dude, that was a it's a, it was that was a crazy like seven thirty to four thirty. I don't know how many hours, but that was it was wild, dude. Hmm. Always have your paperwork okay, in I, order, like yeah. fucking. Okay. Checkpoint Charlie, dude. Are your papers in order? Like, I, I like make sure all my shit's always yeah. in order now, dude. Yeah, dude. But okay, at yeah. any point during that whole ordeal, was the awesome music playing in your head? Yeah, just narrating your life as it's happening. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, fucking guy in a wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, going like, ah. <laughs> This is Matt Bob. This is Matt Bob. This is a horrible, horrible, horrible show, man. It, that was like a yeah, scared dude. straight the series. Yeah, yeah exactly. It was pretty brutal. It was like one of HBO's. Yeah. Uh, it took me forever to see Oz. The same with The Wire. It's like those mm. one, those are ones I only saw parts of recently. I saw more of Oz than The Wire, but um, yeah. It's yeah, like Oz, The, the Wire. There's another I show. I love The that's Wire. The Wire is fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah, dude. There's another show that's very, it's not as good, but it's very violent. And I've only seen the fights, but I haven't seen the show. Banshee. Banshee. Have you seen that show? Mm -mm. Dude, check it out, dude. It's with the guy who plays Homelander. Ooh, but it's before okay. he played Homelander. And dude, like the fights were brutal. Banshee. And there's this like 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 big buffed albino guy, like scary, right. scary MF or man. Yeah. And so it. Check it out. I, what is I the name of that guy? Of what is home out. that Homelander's name? Oh, the actor? Yeah, because I was watching um, a, a guy, a new Guy Star. Ritchie movie. There's like a new Guy uh -huh. Ritchie movie with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, and he's like a military guy yeah. with an interpreter. The yeah, cut. Anthony Starr. Yeah, Anthony Starr. But he's Anthony in that though. as yeah. like a security guy, as like a private security guy. Mm -hmm. He's pretty. It's pretty cool. Yeah, he's a, he's a it's great. It's nice actor. seeing him in like other stuff. What? It's like, oh yeah, he's doing great mm -hmm. in the boys. It's nice yeah. kind of seeing him like do other mm -hmm. work, you know. Yeah. I just looked his IMDb up. Um, I don't, I don't know how you guys feel about the movie without a paddle. I personally find it one of the last great buddy movies that's still mm. um, not rated R. Right? It's a wonderful. That, movie. That's the one with that's the one with the little redhead kid, uh, Seth Green, yeah. right? 
Seth Green, okay. Matthew mm. Lillard, uh, Dax Shepard. And like the setup is the three of them are going to sort of relive their childhood promise after their best friend, the, their fourth member of their gang, uh, dies. And like, I think mm. it's like a, some kind of, some kind of crazy accident. It, regardless, um, really great movie. Came out in, uh, let's see, 20, or I'm sorry, 2004. And yeah, he was in that movie as the friend. Yes. Who, uh, as one of the friends or the friend that died the friend that died yeah and you just you really only mm. see him for like 30 seconds or like a minute like right as he's basically like splitting to go to college at the start mm. it's like so he was really young then but yeah that's a great movie man without a paddle that's i rewatched no, it check. I, I don't really remember it i think i never saw it because i thought it was like a, another version of american pie no, no, yeah, I, I might have to watch vibes. it now. I'm going to grab a beverage. Give me one second. Is that okay? Sure, sure buddy. Do it, do it, do it. Go ahead. Yeah. No, it's it's got some edge to it. There's like a part where they run through a weed field and get chased by some uh, sort of scary looking cats. Like, no, it's, it's, dude, it's a perfect, wholesome movie for like adults and family. It's like, okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. I don't it's know. Not, like, it's not I, too I, wholesome. I, I, you, yeah. Yeah. I saw the poster and I thought it was like a, an, a, an American Pie esque movie, and I don't know. No. Like, the the last movie I enjoyed like that, like American Pie, was Eurotrip. Right. And just because of the song, Scotty doesn't know that that just makes me uh, chuckle. Neo stars on right know. here. He yeah. says, "Now that's something that needs to make a comeback, buddy flicks." Yeah. Absolutely. Dude, but it, it, they're doing it about women now. So. I know that's that's sort of you know I've I've said this for a while maybe I'll wait for Matt to come back but there's a song that I think sort of encapsulates mm -hmm. positive masculine male energy and the lyrics yeah. also really help sort of send it home and uh, uh -huh. say what you like about the band which I don't know but uh, Thin Lizzy's oh, yeah. the boys are back in town oh dude Thin I, Lizzy's awesome I, I thought yeah. we were gonna have another like sense and sensibility moment like the last mm -hmm. show. What was no. that movie? Oh, the Devil Wears Proud or something? Like you yeah, hey, it's a great movie, buddy. And I, I, I felt know. weird about that episode. I felt weird about last week for like two days. I was like, I really shouldn't talk so much. Well I'm deserved, like, man. That was that was well deserved. The, yeah, those no, two days of awkwardness. Yeah. Ooh. No, it's a good movie. And if you watch it, I think you will see there's elements of the no, 12 labels I, of Hercules in there, buddy. I think you'll I find will that. not watch it. I will not watch it for one simple reason because I'm a man. Yeah. All right. And men don't want that kind of shit. This I do have the excuse of my girlfriend uh, sort of <laughs> sure. being sure. along for the ride. I'm I'm pretty sure you made the popcorn and said, like, hey, baby, what's the, the word proud of me? So I it. should take. Pretty Woman off my list then as well. Yeah, Pretty Woman and Green Fried Tomatoes and uh, green fried tomatoes. the color purple. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you've made a big mistake. Huge mistake. Yeah, dude, it was horrible. No, I've never. Seen hey, what's up, Joe? You see, before. Shadow Shadowhawk knows. Be a man. Yeah, Shadowhawk was here last week for that part of the show as yeah. well, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's part of his comment rang through my head. Something like. Mm -hmm. Something like Ginger, I'm worried about you, or something like that. It was so I was like, oh Jesus. Yeah, dude. Ah man, no. that's all right. You had a lapsus. No. Yeah, it's all good. It's one of those movies that's in the Turner Classic Movie list. So I was like, all right, fuck it. Let's let's watch it once. Mm. Come on about my life. Well, I don't know. Like if if I if I'm going for classics, I might I might go with the Criterion Collection. Yeah, oh, know? certainly, totally. Yeah, you can get the Kurosawa films there and all like the, the well, cool like westerns. Yeah, yeah. Well, all the Kurosawa movies. And dude, okay, there's a Mexican Kurosawa. film. Kurosawa. Yeah, there's a Mexican film you might uh, enjoy called Herod's Law. La Ley de Herodes. Dude, look, it's called like Herod's Law, and basically it will explain how politics work work in, in Latin America. But it's like a re magical realism comedy, and dude, like, nice. it's, it's interesting. It's really interesting, but it's funny, interesting. So yeah, yeah. that's my go. recommendation today. Herod's Law. All right, Here's Pedro's some. recommendation. We need a button for that. Yeah. Did he do Ran? Yeah, 
Kurosawa, yeah. Kurosawa did Ram. It's one of his last movies, I think. I was in color. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, my, my parents my have favorite... it on, on Laserdisc. Oh, nice. <laughs> my favorite is Senjuro. It's like, which is like the adaptation of, yeah, of Macbeth. Yeah. Mm. Speaking of in color, real quick, um, we got Ray mm -hmm. in the chat. And, and the reason I say that is because his icon, I, I met with Ray to talk about um, website design a couple weeks mm -hmm. back, right? And his icon um, made me think he was Mexican because it's quite tan, mm. right? Yeah. At least to me. And, I, and Ray, I thought maybe Raymundo, right? No, not at all. He's wow. from Australia or New Zealand. Yeah, or South was... of Africa, one of those three. There he's been. I think he's Australian. He's got. He's the Australian. Accent. Yeah, he's Australian, but that was. They're all very tan down though. there. Yeah, I right. mean, they they live closer to the sun. Like Australia is like really close. Yeah, oh, I just really? I thought it was world. Mexican. Yeah. No. Yeah, he's not Mexican. You know, you can't really. I mean, did they have like guards there, or or is it all just? Was it all just inmates? Like, did they row? Like, did they just pull the boat up and kick people off, or was yeah, there some right. sort of like a facility? You know, no, there, there was no. There was like like a prison farm. Because where are you going to swim to? You know, and like that's and what I. That's what I'm not sure. You. Like, like is yeah. was it just like, hey, we have uh, this point on the on on the Australian coast where we just like say, here mm. you go, yeah. and just like leave them or. Yeah, if there no, was like they, they a, have, here is a yeah. farm that we've developed, and you have to work mm -hmm. on this farm while you're here in Australia. Yeah, more like that, more like that. Mm -hmm. It was like a prison farm, but they they put them to work. But then, like there was more inmates, and they they became a country of inmates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As far yeah, as I, I mean, know, like I'm not really like well versed in Australian history. It's too far yeah. from me. <laughs> Yeah, the stuff they say is like, I don't know. I mean, you know, I used to hear like like Polish jokes, but then like the couple mm -hmm. of guys who I met who are from Poland when I lived yeah. in, in the city were yeah. smart as fuck. Uh -huh. Like they were like engineer yeah. and architect like students. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was just like, okay. Shout out. I was like, do you guys know that there's jokes about you? Yeah, we know. Hey, they, I was like, oh, we know. Yeah. Oh no, you know, you know what? Which nationality made me really conscious? Armenians. Because those guys like study chess in elementary school. Armenians right? aren't they usually like? Yeah. Bad guys exactly. in fucking yeah movies, like, in fucking movies. Yeah. Liam Neeson movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's always exactly like, like those guys. You. You're like, Armenian. Okay, I'm gonna find. Yeah. And then, like, I, I met an Armenian friend, like, oh, I'm an astrophysicist. Yeah. And this is my friend. He's a geologist. And this I mean, guy. I guess like, if you don't have, like, Nintendos and, like, Levi's yeah. and Nikes and shit, you're just sitting there, like, whittling fucking chess pieces and playing it, you know? Yeah. Right. Building building a rocket. Yeah. 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 You don't have to start. There you go. The the Kardashians are Armenian too, so there you go. That's the juxtaposition. Oh, like I, I'm talking yeah, about the people man. I've met, like that group. Mm -hmm. They were all like bra little brains, man. Kardashians, wow. uh, you know, it's wild. Big booties and butts, like made me aware mm. of the Armenian Genocide. massacre or whatever, right? I'm no, just like, the, the you Armenian, know, was yeah, that? the Armenian, That's fucked up. Yeah. yeah, the Armenian catastrophe. Yeah. Did you see um, the trial of O.J. Simpson with? Um, I think QB Downing Jr. and it had uh, David Schwimmer as the Kardashian oh. dad. For <laughs> really, wow! Yeah, yeah, and no, so I, it's fucking good. It's really good. You're like, yeah. it's like, what the fuck is going on? Like, who are all these actors? And what? Like, I think John Travolta is in it at one point. As Whoa. A fucking, you're just like, how did you get all these fucking actors in this fucking like? Netflix se series or something. I, I don't know, but um, yeah, the Kardashian uh, dad is in there. Bef you know, he 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 pieces mm -hmm. out, but like you see, uh, the the mom is in it, and yeah. um, because the Johnny mom was Cochran. like friends with OJ's wow. wife and shit, mm. and um, I don't know. It seemed like like the dad, the way they had the dad portrayed by Schwimmer, was very mm -hmm. like um. 
anti media and anti publicity and anti like everything the Kardashians flash. are now. You yeah. Know? But I mean, that's just like from what I took from fucking some dude portraying a dead guy. You know, I don't want to. Right. Yeah, but that guy died. Yeah, their their Robert dad is no longer around. Mm. Oh, it's no longer with us. Yeah, he peaced out. I think the top Bruce got in the picture, right? Weren't they? I hate that I know this shit. I really do because I could give a fuck. Less. I'm not surprised like though. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> I watched I watched The Devil Wears Prada one time in my life, and now I'm getting yeah, shit. Yeah, I, I, oh, I told you we were gonna. I told you we were gonna pay for this for a long time. Did you see it by yourself? You're like, yeah, Yo, I'm just gonna sit down and watch it. Or was like, there's like a chick involved. Like, hey, let's go see I a mean, movie. Let's go see a movie. Dude, he let's took, go see a movie. He took the coward's way out. He blamed his girlfriend. She was there in the room. Oh, that's what I was doing. I'm giving him the girlfriend yeah. out. Like, yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. Here's the, the truth is it was like on a classics list, and I'd never seen it. Mm-hmm. I was like, there's sure. I'm a big fan of The Office, right? And Michael oh. quotes it in The Office. And I was like, all right, fuck it. Let's let's try it. And Pedro doesn't buy the story. That is the story. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I believe you, buddy. I know. I know. Just right. leave, buddy. Leave your truth. <laughs> No, but, Devil wears Prada. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that one. Because well, well, you're, you're a man, Mr. Barth. The, That's why the reason I, I brought it up was like uh-huh. the, the week prior to watching it, I had watched this documentary on the 12 labors of Hercules. Mm. And in the middle of watching The Devil Wears, wears Prada, I was like, it kind of hit me. I was like, oh, is this sort of like a, uh, it's not a feminist movie. It's just like a chick movie version of The 12 Labors of Hercules. I don't really know, but it's like there's some of that there. She has to go through working for Meryl Streep, who's a real bitch. And, you know, Meryl Streep could act as uh, the emperor, Hercules' cousin, who sends him on a series of tasks and he has to overcome, mm. blah, blah, blah. You know, it's not an exact comparison, but, you know, I just thought that was interesting having checked out that documentary. That yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. That's all I he, he never, da- he never like, got idea out. Last week, because we just fell on him. Like, you, you yeah. watch it. The devil I, I'd like to what? see like a Samson and Delilah. They, they, I'd like yeah. to see that get redone, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't want to see like two black lesbians. Like, <laughs> more than likely, it's going to be that. Samson yeah, starring. Yeah. Fucking, it's going to be Jones. like Oprah, yeah. Oprah Winfrey. And the Leslie, chick from Jones, Samson Leslie Jones. Samson Leslie Oprah Jones Winfrey. Winfrey. <laughs> and Oprah Winfrey. And Oprah Winfrey. And Oprah Winfrey. As no, Delilah. You need a lipstick. You need a lipstick. Yeah, the remake Delilah. of Crawl. I love Crawl, dude. Yeah, dude. The Glee? Are you fucking kidding? It's fantastic, dude. Oh, dude. Dude. I've seen Glee. I've seen like the first three seasons of that. Dude, my ex. No, no, no. Not the not the gleam. The gleam. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. The fucking no, the thing gleam. from Never mind. Uh, <laughs> from dude, Crawl. My ex wife. My ex. I've never seen an episode of, of Glee. Yeah, if you have, my that's ex-wife, okay. Yeah. My ex-wife tried to make me watch The Gilman Girls with, with her, and I just applied yeah. the thing, like, talk shit on every scene, right. like, making fun of it. So yeah. she kicked that's me out of the That's why she's your ex-wife. Exactly. That's the thing. But I live in peace now. Just, mm. Hell no. I'm not I'm not going down like that, dude. Like yeah, My wife is, like, into... She, like, likes to watch Law & Order, and then she likes to yeah. watch X-Files. Um... She watched yeah. Gilmore Girls for a little while, and it was mm-hmm. fine. I would like come in and I would like see the dude from Guardians of the Galaxy. He was in it, mm-hmm. like the guy who takes um, Yondu's Finn. Yeah, he's like he's in Gilmore Girls as like the town malform. I don't know. He's yeah, but that's the thing. The like those guys, he's like those, a handy those guys man, but he's like, kind of like malformed a little yeah. bit. But um, yeah, those guys are working. You he's know watching what I mean? House. Have you guys really... watch House? Yeah. House, yeah, I've seen episodes of, episodes of it, yeah, dude. House, episodes. like you want to talk about, like things. Think House is basically Sherlock Holmes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have a, you have like him. He's kind of cranky. He's always figuring out shit. He's assessing people mm-hmm. and like figuring them all out. It's like a cranky, shitty, grumpy yeah, Sherlock dick, Holmes. Yeah, and he being has like a, a friend. It, yeah. His friend, his name isn't named Watson. But he basically yeah. has like a fucking like another doctor in the um in the mm-hmm. hotel or in the hospital. That, yeah. Um 
that so I, once i was like oh yeah that's kind of cool but then every once in a while like we play a game of, like, oh that guy like we play the that guy game where yeah. it's just like random actors that show up you're like oh yeah that guy from uh you know black hawk down look he, he has cancer of the eyes they're gonna cure him or oh hey that guy he was right he's a rapper you know bunch of guest starring roles when yeah. they were yeah they BMX. just filled up and once you realize like how dope house is they probably had the like, a line of fucking actors yeah you know? Right well, I don't know. Like I, I, I love. I, 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 I understand that there's like common ground shows. Like for example, yeah. like we both love CSI, so we watch CSI. But there are like girly shows I wouldn't, I wouldn't watch, and mm-hmm. she wouldn't watch the Chappelle show with me because she, he thought mm-hmm. he was like too much. You know, my yeah, like, wife. Like, that's like you're saying the CSI stuff. Like mm-hmm. my wife, I took her to go see the the Batman movie, and she mm-hmm. was like, "It's just gonna be a fucking." goofball fucking ride like she didn't know you know she didn't see the trailers or anything so she was like she jammed yeah. on the like the detective work of it you know what i mean like the whole uh-huh. like yeah. puzzles and and shit like that so we she kind of left like yeah that was really good it's like okay good yeah i mean the the, the, the batman you know you're talking about yeah the, the batman right i mean we at, dude at, at, at one point we we both looked at each other when uh catwoman mm-hmm. was like these old rich white men like me and my wife just like yeah. fucking looked at each other real quick and like kept watching the movie it's like oh they f-. i was like oh here they go they fucking yeah. with there but you know it's it's her it role in. like her dad is a fucking old rich white guy yeah. so she's like exactly. she's got his daddy issues but then it was also i like that I like my wife was though. like how long how much longer i was like i, I don't know like don't the know. movie just kept know. going yeah i mean i like the penguin though like, dude, pa- I think it, that that was wasted. He's, he deserves his own movie. Like, that, he's getting that, his that uh, a series on on HBO. Yeah, but I so it's like I it's like a, a little movie. spinoff, but it's like the same. Yeah, be the same universe, but it'll mm-hmm. be a little bit a little spinoff, and then they'll do Batman two. You know, With the Penguin. Okay. Um, or, or he's just like there. Like I have a feeling like he's gonna yeah. be the new the new crime boss. There may even be. Yeah. Some slight cooperation, maybe not cooperation, mm. but like some like, you know, give me what you know, penguin. Come on, bats, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. you. That kind of, you know, <laughs> you got nothing on me. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. As, as as much as I love Danny DeVito, like his penguin was a little bit goofy. You know what I mean? Um, like Batman Returns was definitely them giving Tim Burton too much fucking power, dude. Yeah, dude. It's- the, the fucking the penguin penguins had still, like ugh. Scooby-Doo fucking designs on them. Like everything yeah. was just like looked like his drawings, which mm-hmm, mm-hmm. exactly. I don't know. It's so it was like it was there was more Tim Burton than Batman mm-hmm. in that in that second one. I mean, but but woman was cool though. Like I really enjoyed like Michelle Pfeiffer's cat woman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was, yeah, sure. that was nice. Yeah, but the penguin was yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah. She just like wakes up Dude. like she went from just being like, oh my gosh, what's going on? To just being like a total slut. Right. She yeah. Fucking <laughs> love it. Allie mm-hmm. had whore just rubbing like her a, ass on people like and a shit. Harlot. Yeah, a harlot. Yeah. Oh, just, yeah, it's a real not bump on the head she took there, apparently. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And well, it had fucking Christopher that. Walken in it. I totally forgot about Christopher. Yeah. Right. Bruce Wayne. Yo, Wayne. Batman. <laughs> Bruce. What do you guys yeah, think of the new uh, Jimmy Olsen casting? With the, uh, hmm. I think it's fucking like spot on. Like they couldn't have made that dude like in a computer. Like they couldn't have like made a, a better Jimmy Olsen than that guy. Yeah. He's as got, a like, ginger. Looking... Yeah, he's got the ginger. He's got the yeah. freckles. It's like, holy fuck. As opposed to like, just some Jesus black shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah and, and I like that it's like, guy? no, this is a ginger, freckled Jimmy Olsen. Not like, Jimmy hey, Olsen. this is some like page, and like sometimes they call her Olsen. You know what I'm saying? Like in the mm-hmm. Superman movies, yeah. you were like, wait, there was a Jimmy fucking, there was a Jimmy Olsen in. Oh wait, he was like the CIA guy who gets fucking shot. Oh, oh yeah, that was dumb. Right, you're like that, was, that was Jimmy Olsen. He just got fucking shot. Yeah, 
Yeah. What do you think about the other the other roles that they've cast and having those characters in the in the movie? I'm trying to pull up some of them right now. I, it's I like it's, like the, the it's called Superman honest. Legacy. It's like, what does that yeah. mean? Are they like looking back on like the on the legacy that he's left? Like, it doesn't seem like it would be an origin story. Yeah, right? yeah. I think I, I, I think mean, I would be story. I would be down for it not to be. Uh, an origin story, like I would be cool with that, you know. Because how many origin stories are we gonna get? Yeah. We do not need an origin story. People in the fucking bush mm-hmm. in Africa know who Superman is and like right. his background yeah, story. Exactly. Ditto with Spider-Man. So basically, like we're moving on. Yeah. So we have the Lewis Say? Lane. I'm not digging the Lewis Lane. I'm not digging. You guys gonna pull weird. it up? Do they have like Mister uh, uh, Mister Terrific? Sure, sure. Yeah, uh, let me let me pull it up. I have the casting here. Yeah, I, I like the Superman, and I actually I I forget what I saw him in a couple years ago, but I saw him in it's some like smaller horror flick, uh-huh. and uh, mm. I called it there. I was like, this dude has the look of like a Christopher okay. Reeve. I'm sharing the screen. Superman. I'm sharing the yeah, screen. There you go. Hey, look at me. So he needs got- to be like. Thicker. That guy looks like he's built like me. You know what I mean? Like he needs. Yeah, dude. Like he's thicker yeah. now. Like and, he, and that's okay. not a great photo because even Damn, in the man. Movie that I mean, I he looks like a fucking now. like Henry Cavill's like younger brother, dude. It's kind he of fucking like weird. Henry Henry Cavill's armpit. It's just like that. Like Rachel, I don't like that look that she's giving me. Yeah, it's like half yeah. smile. Like it's kind a nervous frumpy. smile. I'm, like I'm, like we caught I'm her lost farting in the or train something. Station. Yeah. Isabella Mercedes, hot girl. I can dig okay. that because she does look Egyptian. Nathan Fillon as Hal Jordan. Oh, thank God. It. Come on. Yeah. Metamorpho. Really? I mean, I no, it's not Hal Jordan. I think it's going to be the fucking uh, Guy Gardner. Or is this Guy officially? Gardner? Yeah. All right. It says Hal Jordan here. So this know. is Hal Jordan, but I'm, but oh huh. shit, maybe it is fucking Hal Jordan. But I'd like to see, yeah, I'd like to see Guy Gardner personally. Yeah, that would be awesome. So Nicholas Holt, I don't know who he's playing. He's going to be uh, Lex Luthor. Yeah. Lex. Okay. Uh, cool. Maria Gabriela de Faria. I don't know what she's playing. Maria de Faria. Look at that big old mouth of hers. That yeah, that's for her. She has a mouth. Right. Look at that mouth. She got a nice mouth. 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 I like right, that playing. mouth. I was just gonna say the dude playing Metamorpho. He he's actually the show was horrible, but he mm-hmm. played uh, Zaz and Gotham. Oh, okay. and the show was complete dog shit. It could have been incredible. The premise, dude, the dude premise it could have been so of, dope. Like, yeah, Gotham. Yeah. It should have been like fucking Hill Street Blues in mm-hmm. Gotham. You know, like yeah. you could okay, kind so of almost playing... keep it in the same fucking yeah. building, maybe. But it just like mm-hmm. got goofier. And yeah. fucking campier and sillier, and it was mm. just. So I this guy who's playing Mister Terrific wasn't this the, the same guy who was on like X Men First Class, the guy who exploded? Yeah, he was. Uh, his name was Darwin name... or something because he could uh, evolve. Yeah, yeah, he could evolve. Yeah, and and then like uh, Kevin Bacon killed him. So it's that guy, right? Son of a yeah, bitch. I think so. Yeah, all right. Real, real quick here, because I actually, I caught, I remember, this was like a couple months ago, but um, James Gunn, this was in some article I read, Neo Star says, exactly, can we just get some, can we get, can we just get some one-shot superhero films without them being an origin story? Mm. Um, yeah, I don't think this one is going to be an origin story. I caught a James Hopefully Gunn not. interview where he was talking about, um, this is going to be a couple years into his career already. Mm. Um, origin so story? Know. La Fuera! Afuera, yeah. Dude, I want to. I want to hire him late. Kids farm. Disney. Afuera. Afuera. Kevin yeah, Feige. Afuera. Afuera. I, I hope the movie's good. The, the casting looks like it has some potential. But to be honest with you, I'm really not a big James Gunn fan. Yeah. You know, I neither. think personally, I think the best thing he did was Scooby Doo, and mm. he's, he's kind of been remaking Guardians since Guardians, in my opinion. Like he's got a very distinct yeah. style. I'd like to see Suicide Squad outside was of like, that. A, like a sequel to Guardian, yeah. Yeah. That's how it felt I to think, me. I kind of liked his Suicide Squad, but I don't know, man. The, the Guardians of the, the Galaxies, they felt all very, like, they started to feel very, like, plasticky and, like, yeah. on sets. Like, they didn't feel, a like, 
Yeah, yeah. I didn't. There's I wasn't. I wasn't really it. jamming on the last yeah. one. Fuera. Even though it was afuera. Even though it was very. It was more like they were trying to pull out your heartstrings with the whole like animal cruelty within it. Yeah, but it that, like that just. Yeah. That made me repel it even more. I was like, oh. Dude, I just tried to watch some of the Blue Beetle last night. Oh, yeah. I got into, I maybe got, like, I don't know, five minutes. That's like a bad Power Ranger episode with tacos. That's what it is. The guy with the must, the the beard is screaming. It was just, it was insane. And and in the first, like, in the credits, they're just, like, blasting you with shit. Like, just fucking, I don't know. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it, but the way you describe it, it sounds like it's like almost just trying to hook you with bright colors and loud noises. We're going to force you to look at this. I, I'm not going like to Power Ranger. I, I don't know. I just wasn't like. I yeah. just kind of turned it off. They, they were trying to distract you from the fact that they had no script. That's how it felt to me. Like all belts and whistles. So it's like we have no script. This story sucks. And we don't really know Latin culture, so taco, 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 fight. The end. Roll credits. Yeah, it felt very, uh, very stereotypical. Mm-hmm. You know what's fucked up is like I started watching and just started like fast forwarding. Like I, I was like, yeah. you know, you can see the little image. I just started fast forwarding whenever like the bad guy was on screen, and just like started just started watching some of the fights and, and shit. But even that was like, man, yeah. yeah. I'll show you. All right, boys, what let's... fatigue? I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm. I'll see the Superman. I'll see the Superman movie. Fuck Superman. Yeah. Yeah. I I hope he's able to do something outside of his normal style because that's really my biggest complaint. I, I I the first Guardians is fine, but I don't really love it. It's not high up on my list. Um, I've seen the second one. I that one was just boring in my opinion. Um, and since then, like I. I don't think that he he did the second Suicide Squad. I didn't see that, but I did try some of Peacemaker, the show he did. Mm. And that was just it's all just gunisms again, and I it drove me yeah. nuts. The it was so movie. gross, like just so yeah. like un not not like uh, disrespectful, it was but just juvenile. I don't know. Like I really like those characters, and they, they just like it was just like wacky buddy shit, and like Vigilante mm. was just a fucking retard. It was like not. Yeah, kind of, kind of like a pervert, if I recall correctly. Like they were trying to do the boys light or something with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but, weird, like, weird dick jokes and stuff. You were just like, what? Like it would just like they would be talking, and then suddenly there would be like some sort of weird like sexual dick joke, and it like just wouldn't be funny. You would just keep going. Yeah, am I right? It was just yeah, yeah it, it really land. doesn't make That's sense when you pull back on it. You're like, what are we right. doing, here, guys? Yeah. Nobody talks like this. Like the whole show, like nobody, like nobody's that fucking stupid or like that. Like, I'll suck a fucking that gross beach yeah. of dicks for, for fucking freedom. You know what I mean? Like nobody. It's just it's crazy. Well, yeah. But I do like uh, I do like that guy. Blood Blood Sport. What's his name? Blood Idris Sport. Idris Elbow. Oh, Idris uh, Elbow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. His character is in, that uh, Idris Suicide Elbow? Squad. Yeah, Idris Elbow. Too Idris Elbow. It's Elba, not Elbow. Elba. It's Elbow around here. Elba, Elba, no Elbow. elbow. Yeah. yeah, Idris <clears> Elbow. The Elbow. Yeah. It was. He was. I liked his character in it. It was pretty dope. Yeah, I yeah, mean, it was like we 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 didn't get Will Smith again. That, that that's how that character felt to me. Like we, we didn't Will hire Smith. Will Smith again. That yeah. first that first Suicide Squad sucked balls, dude. Yeah, dude. It made no sense. It looked like it was like directed by three different people. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that one. People are trying to make a case for like a, a release. The I uh, forget whatever the director's name is, but they're trying to pull that same thing that they did with the Snyder Cut. With the Snyder mm-hmm. Cut. Here's yeah. the thing. Here's the thing. Um, I don't. I don't. I didn't like the Snyder movies either. Although I am a fan of some of his work, but. Here's, here's why I'm not interested, and I sort of say afuela to the release. Of the <laughs> afuela. Yeah. Afuela. Because this dude is likely, I'm sure there was some like corporate interference with what they did with the Joker, but I feel like at the end of the day, this guy, the director, 
is responsible for Jared Leto having face tattoos and a grill as the Joker. What mm. they tried to do was hot to make a hot top hot topic like marketing mm. push immediately with the character to recapture the Heath Ledger accidental craze. You know, I don't think people expected that to be a big thing, but with this, it was like, how do we make it to where we can get the the uh, sort of thirty something moms who are you know getting a little too horned up, you know, for their mm. own good. You know, how do we get them into this? It's like, I don't know. We'll cast Jared Leto as the Joker and give him the grill. It just didn't make know. sense to me. So, no. I, I the face tattoos, I, I was like, that's kind of dumb. The grill, I kind of liked. Yeah. I kind of liked. And the reason why is because at this point, Batman's probably knocked out all of his fucking teeth. Okay. You know, like he's he's already killed Robin in that movie. You know the you know he's got the fucking suit with the mm. R. Who's laughing now? So I'm thinking, right? He never he didn't kill Joker, but he knocked all of his teeth out at some point, and that is why the Joker has like the grill in in that in that movie or in that you know dude, that that dude, was I mean, as they, I was watching, I was like, okay, maybe that's that's why he has I, a grill because they really knocked him all out. That. If they no, if they would have exposed that with a little bit of exposition, not like show don't tell, uh, on how he got the grill like that, that would have been awesome. Yeah, but it it looked like a like a aesthetic decision more so than a story story decision. Do you catch my drift? Like it, it felt I don't know. Like I agree. I yeah, they, they had designs. a whole moment of like she he's like he meets fucking common. And mm-hmm. oh, you don't want no beef, you don't want no beef. Like this whole fucking thing where like you could have just had them killing Robin and him like yeah. punching the fuck out of Joker and showing his mm-hmm. teeth out. And maybe Harlequin is there and, and there's like a, a scuffle and they, you know, yeah. I mean, there's just, I don't know. It, that could have missed yeah, the I, I completely agree. I, I can see that too. Of Batman just kind of snapping and beating joker's teeth out in front of harley and she's like sort of standing there like terrified right yeah you know i mean i can dig it no the only thing i really liked out of the snyder movies um was ben affleck as batman and i really loved his suit yes Um, god it was just oh affleck affleck batman was freaking scary on batman v superman when when he goes in and like beats up the talks and like that's Batman fighting. Finally, yeah. you know what I mean. With, That's when, the, when the Chinese girls fucking close that gate, because they're like, mm-hmm. "Fuck that!" There's a fucking demon upstairs. Like that yeah. was fucking cool. And he's like Ooh. all perched up in the corner of the fucking room. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And he's That's like what branding I, I the love, guys. I love seeing the Batman where it's like, okay, like he clearly has some armor. There's stuff going on, but then there's like a, a layer of fabric over it, so mm-hmm. like you yeah. don't you don't know that it's armor. And you don't really know, like, Affleck's actual physique under there. You know, you don't know what's armor and what's... And I think that's a lot cooler than, like, the Iron Man, Tony Stark kind of Batman, yeah. where it's like, you know what I mean? Where you're like, right. well, everybody fucking knows that, that you're, like, just like a tech guy. You know, mm-hmm. it's like the, the idea of, like, this is a, a fucking wraith or a fucking, you know... yeah. Some sort of I mean, nightmare coming to fucking yeah. make us pay for with our Iron sins, Man, you know? Yeah, the thing like with Iron Man, it makes sense because he's a tech guy and even he talks like a tech guy. You know what I makes mean? Makes sense. But with Batman, like he's supposed to represent fear in the heart of, of, of like evildoers. Yeah. So yeah, dude, like that that's something that the tech Batman is something I, I don't really like. Yeah, maybe when he one of those Superman. Batmans yeah. I doubt like I was like, Oh yeah, that's a cool game. You know, the, mm-hmm. the Arkham game. And uh, I was like, yeah, that's a pretty cool game. But then I saw the Batman, and I was like, that looks fucking stupid. Yeah. Big giant boots, big chunky fucking gauntlets and stuff. But then you were able to download the Aflac skin. Oh, cool. And I fucking did. And I played that whole game with the fucking Ben Affleck skin on, dude. I mean, it had that uh, mm. Kevin Conway <laughs> voice mm. and oh, the yeah. cutscenes. Mm. But, yo, it was like playing a fucking Ben Affleck Batman movie. It was fucking dope. I, lo- I yeah. love that suit. The Arkham games, those are a lot of fun. It's definitely a, a like, basically Iron Man, <laughs> Batman, like the base character. I love his ears. He's got big ass sharp ears. But yeah, it's, they, they give a bunch of defense. But the game and the story, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Once you get into, once I was like, okay, I like the way this Batman looks, 
then it was dope just hanging and fucking just setting up traps so you can kill like multiple dudes in one fucking like it's fucking dope see i'm like nerding out on batman game yeah that's yeah, that's i mean that's what we do here dude i've started playing a game called uh mafia 2 have you ever heard mm. of that i don't know i haven't played I haven't games played in it. years Oh, everybody's. Oh, I don't play video games. I, don't like, I play a fuck no, ass of video games, dude. Yeah, I, 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 I wish I could, man. Not. It's yeah. a, it's like a mafia. It's like Grand Theft Auto, but like a fake Chicago, mm. in like right after World War II. Oh, nice. Right. So you're kind of like it's a, it's a one, one person, one person game, and you're just kind of like working your way through the mafia. But it's very like open world, like Grand mm. Theft Auto, dude. It's. It's mm. dope as shit, but I'm just like, oh, this is a dope city. Like, it just looks like Gotham as fuck. Like, oh, nice. Like Gotham, the, I mean, the animated series, kind of. Oh, dude, like, I can't wait to show you guys what I'm doing. Like, I'm, the Joker you know, didn't even have a crowbar in the movie. I know, dude. Yeah. A yeah, crowbar the, the spray Joker? painted fucking, you know, two colors on it or something. That would have been good. Yeah. No, you know, you know what, what that Joker reminded me of? I mean, that really pissed me off because I hate that movie. Remember that movie, Hackers? Yes. I didn't see it, but it's got Angelina Jolie, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. With the like, Fisher the Joker Stevens, like, the bad guy? Yeah, 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 the Joker looked like one of those guys. And it's like, dude, now, like, I hated that movie with a passion. Such a weird movie, dude. It looks so, yeah. like, style over, like, substance yeah. reality. And we all want to be cool, and we're all dude. Like, supposed they're supposed to be nerds. Nerds are not cool. And yeah, yeah. Like, they had like one dude had like braids and shit like on the side of his head, and yeah, like they're all, they're all hackers. But like all the computers that they had, like none of it was like like made real sense, you know? Yeah. And the idea that your average or even at the upper echelons of like nerdy women look anything close to Angelina Jolie. To, you know, 20 exactly. something years ago, it's like, come on, guys, mm -hmm. yeah, dude, come on, completely unrealistic, right? Nobody has like Dorito dust on their, on their chest, yeah, that the and Cheeto dust on the tits, some jizz yeah, on your fingers, like, come on, guys. yeah, this is what nerds Mountain Dew stains. Wait, what? No, this is what chicks are now, no, I mean, um, that's what nerds. that's what coding women are, they they have Cheeto fingers, <laughs> Cheeto fingers, yeah. I don't know. Probably. Yeah. Mm. So, um, Matt, we usually keep it to about an hour here, buddy. All right. Yeah. yeah. So we're we're getting getting ready to wrap it up. Is there uh, anything you'd like to add or promote or anything you want to say before we? Start? Um, no. Um, Rock and Roll Ninja. Uh, if you haven't got it, go on the Rambo and get it. It's going to be heading to the printer soon. I, it was supposed to be at the printers. And then Richard said that he wanted to make a couple corrections. So I'm not complaining. I don't want mm -hmm. I don't want it to come out with like any uh typos or weird shit. So that's that's all. Uh preking awesome with Pedro. You you're always welcome. Oh, that's right. it. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. And uh, you're you're also streaming like video games and dude, you, you you're getting the presents out. So yeah, yeah. being looking for Mad Bar and awesome artist with him. We didn't talk oh, anything about art today. I'm That's sorry. Bad. No, yeah, no, it's no, all right. We had, we had a great chat. Yeah. Yeah. We usually cover something art related. It does feel like there's something <laughs> left here. But, uh, yeah, but we can have you back and yeah, we can well, cover you know, it. Uh, the other day, some guy on, on Twitter was like, look at your fucking shit. It looks all wonky like that fucking Calvin and Hobbes fucking comic books. And I was like, thank you very <laughs> much. And so I retweeted. I was like, Somebody told me I look like Bill Watterson. Fuck yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. I, yeah. I think he was like, I didn't fucking say that. I said your shit. I was like, yeah, yeah, you said that. You said I look like uh, Calvin and Hobbes. It's a, it's a record. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. So it is really quite a compliment. And also, yeah, yeah. Yeah. to imply that Bill Watterson's work is. Right? Crazy. I was like, like come on, are you serious? Me and Bill Watterson? I was like, oh, bro. Yeah, but thanks. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. I'm flattered. Yeah. Woo. That's not what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, buddy. Dude, that's the best way to disarm those guys because they really feel like they're cutting you deep. And dude, that gets the internet. Like, yeah. yeah. Big hit. It looks like a... Will Eisner. 
Your shit's all wonky. Ooh. Like it looks like shitty old Mad Magazine. Yeah, the who are, are you? Are you like, Jack that's Kirby? what I'm fucking trying to do. Like, thank yeah. you. <laughs> who do you think you are, Jack Kirby? It's like, whoa. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh. I've I would be like, oh, honey, honey. The Hi. internet says I'm Jack Davis now. <laughs> so I, I've seen people try to make that argument about Jack Kirby specifically, like trying to compare him to modern artists. It's like it's not really a mm. fair comparison, but you know, trying to shit on him in terms of like, you know, oh, dude, like, come on, you I mean, can't what? shit on somebody who was just like laying the groundwork. Like there was nothing. Right. Like you, in nothing hindsight, you could say, them. "Oh, well, yeah. we've seen Jim Lee, we've seen fucking right. Neil Adams, we've seen yeah. Sprang, you know, we've seen all this." But yeah. it's like Michael Gold. Nobody like, fucking seen... seen that shit at that point. Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. People were like, "What the." Fuck is, what the fuck is this shit? And you, can, you know, the sales said so. You know what I mean? They went from like, "Hey, I think we may be closing the fucking doors." To, you know, holy shit, yeah. we got we got a whole bunch of fucking cool shit going on. Because this one dude, this one kid from Brooklyn, I yeah, got I like Neo Kirby. Star says Hollywood yeah. desperately wants to pretend that these. I mean, we can keep it going a little while longer if you guys. I'm want sorry, to. I was a little late. I mean, I'm sorry. No, yeah, I'm we're done. We'll keep- We'll keep no, we're not. It's all good. Here we are. No, it's all good. It says Hollywood desperately wants to pretend that these vapid hipsters and dilettantes, I believe that's what that is, are what nerds are. Um, somebody, we're going to have to look up what a dilettante is. Mm. Uh, there you go. I know that Big Bang Theory like really pushed back uh, oh, yeah. uh, nerd culture back pretty far. Yeah, yeah, the Big Bang Theory, making it cool. I remember when like uh, growing up and that being on and, and my parents, you know, watching it and shit. And it's like, if they're watching it, you know, I would not to be contrary necessarily, but it's like, if you guys are into it, you know, it's, I'm probably not going to enjoy it. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I did saw the big man theory and I felt insulted. Yeah. I was like, what is shit? What is this? Yeah. Why would you want to yeah. watch like these weasels? Yeah, exactly. Like they're horn dogs and, I don't know. Well, it's just like the sort of, sort of trying to like, uh, I don't know, make it, they, they basically did like turn it into like band t-shirts, you know what I mean? That was sort of the marketing yeah. ploy of mm. re-energizing. Yeah, but, but not only that, dude, there's not only that, like there's an element of laughing with you and laughing at you. And I think Big Band Theory was laughing at nerd culture more than laughing with. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's it was kind of like I think it was oh, kind of fucking fun. Yeah, yeah, like so. This is how you see these guys. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. excuse me. Sorry. Awesome. That's all right. Yeah. No, it's yeah. I I kind of. Yeah. I mean, you could probably try to blame it, you know, largely for like the uh, I don't know. I don't want to sound too uh, crazy here, but like the the sort of mass corporatization of it all in terms of like we're just gonna try to. You know, it really is like the band shirt thing. We're going to try to sell this to as many people who don't give a shit as possible, but want to look cool about it. Mm-hmm. I guess that, that's the hipster yeah. element of it. Well, that's probably largely why we are where we're at today. Like, you know, people trying to use Are there still element. hipsters? Is that still a thing? They they will tell you they're not, but yeah. I'm sure. I don't sure see anybody wearing like mustaches. weird little mustaches and shit anymore. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, or wearing like those glasses without the glass. Like with yeah, no, the they've fuck? got they've got into yeah. uh shoemaking, that's a popular one. Woodworking, that, that's yeah, woodworking. Uh, that's one R- belt riding and motorcycles. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's what I see a lot of. Like people are just like doing really weird like artisan shit, you know, like hey, mm-hmm. like I'm I'm yeah. bagging my own teas and or you know yeah, dude, like, I'm, doing yeah, woodwork I'm, without any glue and nails. I'm just sitting here cutting yeah. fucking, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Like yeah. I'm, 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 I have an Ascot factory. Whoa, okay. Hmm. An Ascot? Yeah. <laughs> doing it. The uh, one so, dude. Yeah. All righty, guys. Well, I got, let's see here. There was one other thing we could uh, talk some shit about if we were in, in the mood. No, uh, yeah, I don't know. know. We can say, afu- I can get something to say, afuera. Afuera. Yeah, but. All right, I mean. All right, yeah. all right. Well, 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 man, we'll have you back on, buddy. What do you yeah, man. Yeah, Thank yeah. you for having me. I appreciate it. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. The thing is, like, yeah, the, the conversation went everywhere. I mean, like, you, uh, we're comfortable talking with you, but yeah, we 
this show is about letting people know who you are and where you come from. And but you did a, you talk about your jail story, so that counts for something, I think. Good. We'll just That's have, fine. This is this yeah. is like the uh, we'll have to do the prologue episode next, and it'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Just sort of watch it in order. We went out of time yeah. on this one. We we will oh, have guys. Matt back. We'll have Matt back. This, Matt back. This was not. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to be back. That'd be cool. Yeah, this was not our best show. It wasn't. But we'll promise. We'll promise, dude. I'm like sitting here just sweating. I think I have like a, a temperature of like a uh, hundred degrees right now. Oh no, nah, dude! Go, downstairs go, when go I got a drink, I, I did the ear thing. I was like, yo, fuck, a hundred uh, fucking eight. I was like, Jesus, not hundred. Like it was yeah. like a hundred point eight. I was like, okay, let's go upstairs. Nah, Here dude, we go. Go get some rest. So we're gonna. No, nah, no, nah, we're, we're still. Are we good? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're, no, good we're about to wrap right now. Yeah, Pedro and I do a little chit chatting um, just before we end the show. Okay. Kind of things out, but yeah, man. Thanks again, Matt, and I hope you, you feel better, bro. For real. Yeah. 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 Have you back, man? All right, brother. Peace. Yeah. Boom, He's a baby. beast of an artist, man. For sure. What a beast of a artist. Our artist. Great guy. C comes across to some as prickly, but I, I have to say. Um, nah, in my experience, he's been nothing but a, uh, a gem. He's a, and, he's a teddy bear. And, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's a, yeah, absolutely. Definitely, definitely love to have Matt on. I'll, I'll, I'll come hang out with you guys, too. I, I'm, I'm horrible about that. I need to be yeah. dragged by the ear. So. <laughs> All right, so no, we do want to thank everybody real quick. We got Shadowhawk. Thank you, buddy. Mm -hmm. I will uh, yeah. try to sort of curve my movie viewing I, mean, I should just watch 300 this weekend or something. That's manly. Oh, that's, yeah. speaking of Zack Snyder, I mean, that that's the... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a Zack Snyder movie I, I enjoyed. Absolutely. Uh, freaking that, 300. The Watchmen full-length version, that, that's really the only way to watch that, the unedited version. Mm -hmm. It's almost yeah. four hours, but that's really the only way to watch that. Even his Dawn of mm -hmm. the Dead is good. Not the latest one he put out. That one was I don't good. know. Dawn of the Dead was was a mess to me. Yeah, the Dawn remake, the not the newest yeah. one. Just did not the one for yeah, the, the, the remake, the remake. It's just yeah, I don't know. Like it. I'm thinking I, I was I'm I've been burned up with with zombie films for a while now, so yeah. I might not be the best. Uh, yeah, I mean I feel you there. They're not scary to me anymore. Yeah, you know, ghost movies don't but, scare me either. Mm, I'm not a humongous okay. fan unless the ghost can kill you. And maybe like we did in like we did in Raising Cane, buddy. Remember that that yeah. old classic? Oh, oh yeah, dude. the classic. <laughs> Is it coming out? It will be coming out next year. Yeah, next nice. Year. I'm very excited, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here All we right. go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trade school and animation classes, Pedro Ang. Yeah. These will be my goals going forward. Neo, mm -hmm. keep your eyes peeled for Pedro. On some animation classes yeah. there, yeah. In the future, yeah. All right. The very near future. <laughs> there you go. All right, bitches. Respectfully. What? Respectfully. I say it with all due. Okay. Respect. Okay. No. All as right, long everybody. as you do it that way. Absolutely. Real quick, who, who do we have next week? Let me see. Real quick. We got Dojo. All right. Speaking of another troublemaker mm -hmm. in CG, right? All right. All right. Yeah. All right, everybody. We'll we catch up next week. Peace. Yeah.